Shalom. So on the community wall, I did post some of Putin's speech and what he talked about and so on. But let's just touch on some of his most important highlights. And I'll read through them for you so you can get an idea of where his head was at. Number one, uh, this is all Putin speaking. I am making this address at a time we all know is difficult, a watershed moment for our country, a time of cardinal, irreversible changes around the world. The most important historic events that shape the future of our country and our people when each of us bears a colossal responsibility. Okay, facts. Number two. I have already said many times that the people of Ukraine have become the hostage of the Kiev regime and its Western overlords, who have effectively occupied this country in the political, military and economic sense. Today's Ukrainian regime essentially serves not the national interests, but those of third countries. The elites of the West do not hide their purpose, they intend to transform a local conflict into a phase of global confrontation. This is exactly how we understand it all and we react accordingly. Because in this case, we are talking about the existence of our country. But they also cannot fail to realize it is impossible to defeat Russia on the battlefield. Therefore, they are conducting more and more aggressive information attacks against us. Okay, next one. They distort historical facts, constantly attack our culture, the Russian Orthodox Church, and other traditional religions of our country. Look at what they do with their own people. The destruction of the family, the cultural and national identity, the perversion, the abuse of children are declared normal, priests are forced to bless same-sex marriages, as it became known, the Anglican Church plans to consider the idea of a gender-neutral God. Millions of people in the West understand that they are being led to a real spiritual catastrophe. Truth. Truth. They want to make the Russian people suffer with sanctions, but their calculations did not materialize. Those imposing sanctions are punishing themselves. They've caused price hikes, job losses, and an energy crisis. And we hear them telling their own people that the Russians are to blame. The Russian economy and management system turned out to be much stronger than the West believed. We ensured the stability of the economic situation, protected citizens, saved jobs, prevented market shortages, including essential goods, and supported the financial system. Also building a new system with China and India. Then lastly, they, the West, want to inflict a strategic defeat on us and sneak into our nuclear facilities. In light of this, I am compelled to announce today that Russia is suspending its participation in the Strategic Offensive Arms Treaty. Russia is not withdrawing from the treaty, but suspending participation. The United States is developing new types of nuclear weapons. In this situation, the Russian Ministry of Defense and Rosatom must ensure readiness for testing Russian nuclear weapons. Of course, we will not be the first to do this, but if the US holds tests, we will too. No one should be under any dangerous illusions that global strategic parity can be destroyed. Now, that's a big one, okay? Suspended and stepped back. He can do what he wants. And now he's pretty much saying to America, your move. Go ahead and try and test something and see what happens. Or is he getting ready to launch? All these things are potential possibilities. So very tense. He did not declare war as we expected he would outright. There was nothing major, even though on the Russian telegram groups, they showed pictures of their fighter planes ready to go saying tomorrow's tomorrow on the anniversary so we don't know something's holding back but i do believe they are prepping they know more than they're saying obviously keeping their cards close to their chest we'll see what happens or maybe we'll see it on the way up because most of these rapture dreams and visions we go up as the missiles come down so who knows i just know it's not for us to stress about 
it is good for us to see these things developing as fast as they are. This is not something that's going to switch off and walk down very quickly. This is going forward full tilt. God bless. Keep watching and looking up. Shalom.